I I recently read an article that talked about one of the best ways to keep yourself healthy is to have a hobby. So I sat down and I thought about what makes me happy. And I really enjoy cooking, I enjoy reading, I enjoy thrifting, um, flowers and nature, my soon-to-be grandchild, um, my family. So I thought I would make a video, um, make a vlog about those things in my life. And so tonight I am making a dinner from my past that I grew up eating. And um, it's a southern meal. I'm making uh, pinto beans or soup beans, um, fried potatoes, cornbread, uh, some greens, and pork chops for my husband. I don't care for much meat. So um, I'm just going to make enough for him to eat. So I wanted to bring you along. Um, this will be my very first video. And um, I know my family will be watching. And anyone else who comes along, um, welcome. And we will just get started now. So this morning, well last night, I soaked my pinto beans, which I normally don't do, but I thought I'd give it a try. So I put my, my pinto beans on to cooking this morning, and here they are. They look so good, and they taste really good too. Um, they smell just like when my mom or my dad or mama, my grandmother, would cook them. So I'm looking forward to having those, but they're done. And they're just cooling on the stove. So now I'm going to start my green beans. I didn't mean to say green beans. I'm going to start my fried potatoes. So these are all the potatoes. These are just what I had in the house. And I think I would like to have some leftovers for breakfast in the morning. So I'm just going to start cutting these up and get them all ready to fry. Um, my mom always cut her potatoes into little pieces, and so I think that's what I normally do. I don't make fried potatoes very often, but today I have the taste for them to go with my beans and my greens. And so this is just kind of the size that I'm doing. And so I'll get these all cut up, and... Um, and then we'll move on to the next thing. I don't know how many people mix their type of potatoes when they make fried potatoes, but I think it tastes really good that way. So I'm using kind of a yellow potato and the red potatoes. And the ones that are falling on the floor, I hear my dog coming in to get them. All right. So I have my big bowl of potatoes washed and dried and cut up. And this is where it gets complicated because my mother, I believe my mom uses Crisco to fry her potatoes, but I only have vegetable oil. So I have my pan heating up and uh, let's see if I can put this down. So I'm going to try to add probably just enough to cover the bottom and I hope that's not too much. And I'm going to wait until that gets nice and hot and then I will put my potatoes in here. So I grew up eating southern food because my parents are southern. Um, my dad was from Tennessee and then moved to Ohio as a teenager and my mom grew up in West Virginia and then moved to Ohio as a teenager and so uh, you know pinto beans, fried potatoes, greens, stuff like that um, 
sliced onion, cornbread, those were all staples in my house growing up. And so every once in a while I get a craving, um, like I did yesterday, so, um, so that's why I am making this meal today. So thanks mom and dad. So as the pan continues to heat up, I wanted to show you a shortcut that I'm using today. Um, I know some people don't like this, but I didn't have any greens in the house and I didn't want to go out in the cold to the store. So I'm using these today for our mixed greens. My husband and I like them and um, I like to eat mine with a little bit of vinegar. So does my husband. So these are the greens that we're having today. Um, normally I would get some and cook them, but today we're just going to do a shortcut. All right, so my oil is sizzling. I dropped one in there and it's definitely sizzling. So I'm going to dump these in without burning myself. Spread them out. I'm going to add some pepper. I remember my mother putting lots of pepper on her fried potatoes. Um, I'm going to put some salt, even though I know we shouldn't be cooking with salt, but I need to. So I think I'm going to cover those. Just for a little bit to try to get them nice and tender and uh, and then we're gonna go over and start making the cornbread so I'm gonna use the Aunt Jemima cornmeal this is yellow cornmeal and I use the recipe that's on the back of it to make my cornbread. I have an iron skillet that my mother gave me when I got married. And so this is what I make the cornbread in. Generally that's about it. I don't really do much else with my, um, with my iron skillet. So I just use it for my cornbread. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, put some butter in here. Uh, I like to melt the butter in here and then as I pour my cornmeal in, it kind of, I don't know, crisps up, tastes good, I guess. So I'm gonna get some butter. All right, it's not butter, it's margarine, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna peel this back and I'm going to coat my pan with butter. Oops, it broke. I never said this was a low calorie or a low fat meal, um, but it is a homey meal and a comfort food meal for me. And so every once in a while, I think that's okay. So I have my pan um, covered, and so I'm going to put that in the oven to get all melted and hot for when I'm done with my mix for my cornbread. All right. Now to make the cornbread. I'm going to put a cup of the cornmeal in the bowl. So there's the cornmeal. I'm going to put a cup of all purpose flour. I just ripped my bag open. tablespoons of sugar. I know this is a debated topic on whether to put 
sugar or not in your cornmeal. Um, but I like it. I like having it in there. I generally won't put the whole four tablespoons, but I'll put a couple tablespoons in there. So I think I'll just do two today. Cut back a little bit. Do you put uh, sugar in your cornmeal? You could leave a comment and let me know if you do or not. Um, and then we're going to put in four teaspoons of baking powder. I don't know how long I've had this baking powder, but I'm sure it'll still work. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. I can hear the potatoes sizzling. So a half teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to stir this up. Let me fix the camera. I'm going to stir this up really good. And then I like to make like like a little hole and put my egg in there. And I like to put my milk down in there. One cup of milk, one egg. And then a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil in there. Sometimes I use butter. So um, I spilled some of my vegetable oil. But I have butter in my pan, so I'm not going to worry about that. And then I'm going to get a spoon, chop up my egg. Stir that up really good. I love cornbread and butter, cornbread and honey, cornbread and jelly. I love cornbread with my pinto beans. How do you eat your cornbread? I know my parents, as a snack, used to crumble up their cornbread and put it in milk with some mustard and salt and pepper and uh, eat it with onion, maybe even slice up, dice up the onion and put it in there as a snack. I've ate that when I was younger. I haven't ate it since I was an adult. But. So here's the cornbread mix. I'm going to get the pan out of the oven and then we'll pour it into there. Watch out, Altie. Watch out. So my butter is all melted, my pan is hot, now I'm going to pour it in. Mm, doesn't that look good? I know you can add like jalapeno peppers or whole corn kernels to your cornbread, but I just like it plain. All right, so here's the cornbread. I'm going to put it in the oven. I put it in at 425 degrees and it'll cook for about, I don't know, 15 or 18 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the oven. All right. So I have my greens cooking. What I like to do is um, I just dump them in there and then I cook them 
uh, on high until a lot of the water is out of them. And, and then I put them on simmer just to keep them hot. So that's what I'm doing with that. My pinto beans are already done. You know what I forgot? My husband's uh, pork chops. So I think I'm gonna fry those. So I need to um, get those ready. Okay, so like I said, this is kind of a luxury meal today. Um, I was telling my dad what I was cooking for dinner and he said I should fry uh, my husband's pork chops, coat them in flour and fry them in a little bit of baking grease. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Why not? It's a special meal. So I have some baking grease a little bit saved in the bottom of my jar here. So I'm just going to put that in the pan and let that melt and get hot. And then I'm going to add my floured pork chops in there. So that should be. So these are pork loin rib chops. My husband likes the bone-in chops for some reason. So I'm gonna put them in the bag of flour and salt and pepper. And coat them with the flour. I've never made pork chops like this, but my dad normally knows what he's talking about when it comes to food. So, I'll give David a special treat tonight. All right, I'm gonna check on the potatoes. They're really cooking and sizzling. Uh-oh. I may have got too much oil. back up. So my friend and I, we were talking the other day about um, favorite kitchen utensils and she's, she made a gift for her daughter that said once you turn 18 you have a favorite kitchen utensil and so I have a favorite spatula. I bought this at a yard sale I don't know 20 years ago maybe <laughs> And it has broken since, so I have half a handle, but I love it, and I can't get rid of it. So I know exactly what she means. All right, time to put the pork chops in. Two came in the package, so here's the first one. And the second. So we'll just let those cook and brown up. And you know what I did? <laughs> I turned the wrong burner on. So, let me fix that. I know I'm not the only one that's ever done that. So we'll get these cooking. My um, greens are boiling. My fried potatoes are frying and my pork chops are starting to sizzle. So now, oh, and my cornbread is in the oven. So, So 
so I was just checking on the food. I think my computer messed up a little bit, so I apologize for that. Um, but I just wanted to talk about what I plan on doing with my videos. Um, I just want to talk about things I enjoy, and hopefully you'll enjoy them too. I love to collect cookbooks. Um, I love to cook. Um, I love to read cookbooks from front to cover. I love to go thrifting and finding my soon-to-be granddaughter um, books and clothes and unique toys. Um, I love to hang out with friends and have fun and be with my husband and participate at my church. So I will be doing lots of those different things and making videos and I hope that you uh, would like to join me and um, subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go check on the pork chops and see how they're doing. So one of the cookbooks that I treasure is this uh, Better Homes and Garden new cookbook. This belonged to my mother-in-law and when she passed away, she, um, her family gave it to me. It is very well used. Um, the pages are tattered and torn, but um, one of the recipes that my family loved was the pancake recipe, and as you can tell, we use this page quite often. Some of the pancake recipe is even torn away. Um, the page is torn. Um, the pineapple upside down cake recipe in here is delicious. And what is this? So this is the first recipe, the hot tuna noodle uh, casserole recipe is the first one that I ever did in this cookbook and it was really delicious. Um, so I treasure old cookbooks especially because this was from family and um, I'll probably never get rid of them until my kids inherit them. So Leah and Josh, I hope that you look forward to it. All right, so the cornbread is done. It looks delicious, and um, I'm looking forward to having a nice piece of that with my beans. Okay, so the cornbread's done. Um, the potatoes are almost done. They're not as crisp as my husband likes them, and they have too much oil in them. So I think I'm going to have to pour them out on a piece of um, paper bag and let the oil drip off of them. Um, and my husband's pork chops, they're cooking up nice. So I'm going to go find um, a clean paper bag and cut it and use the inside of it and um, get my potatoes drained. Well, my potatoes have way too much oil in them, so I've drained a bunch of the oil off, which made them kind of mushy, but you know what? It's alright. They'll be mixed in with the beans and the cornbread and the greens, so I'm not too worried about it, but I might throw them back in the pan just to see if they'll crisp up a little bit, but here they are. Look at all the oil that was on them. It's pretty gross. All right, dinner's done. Would you like to see it? So we have our beans, greens, pork chops, fried potatoes, and cornbread. So I know we are looking forward to eating tonight and I hope it all tastes good and I'll show you a finished plate once we get it done. Okay, so here's the final shot of my dinner. Greens with vinegar, fried potatoes, crumbled up cornbread with beans and juice on top. All I'm missing is homegrown tomatoes and some onion, but I don't have any onions. So, um, 
and David's eating the pork chops. So we'll see you next time. Bye.